Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I have another sketchbook tour of the Tiny Pink Sketchbook. If you guys follow me with my little shorts that I'm posting, then you know that this sketchbook has taken me a really long time, back to like July of summer 2023 is when I got this little sketchbook. This sketchbook is a Talons Arts Creation sketchbook. I bought it off of Amazon. So here's the sketchbook before, like, you can see, like, look how nice it is. And see, it's all crumpled up with my tiny pink sketchbook. So these are from Amazon. And these are actually my two next sketchbooks. Like, I'm going to have you guys vote at the end. Which one should I do next, purple or gold? And I was going to do gold and yellow characters in here. And then, of course, purple characters in here. And I think this might possibly last to, like, mermaid. But, yeah. These, this is what it looks like on Amazon, super cheap. I think these both were like nine to 10 bucks. So yeah, really, really nice sketchbooks. They don't have white pages. They're very cream color pages. So you can see it's cream colored and they do bleed on to the next page, but not onto the next, next page. This is back in summer of 2023, I'm gonna say July, because at the time the kids in the theater company that the school that I work for, they were putting on a production of Aladdin. So I was super inspired and I started making sketchbook spreads of Aladdin. So here's Jasmine. And I did start taping the back pages, you can see, cause it would bleed on and it would look like this. I did use this as Tombow. Um, I did use glue dots before, but now I've got permanent adhesive. All right, so here's Jeannie. And then, oh, I love this one so much. It turned out so good. I'm never good with this particular scene, but for some reason, I drew it so well in this tiny sketchbook. It's just, it makes my heart so happy. Of course, this was the summer of Barbie. So I started drawing all these Barbie pictures and I started to get a little bit more comfortable with starting to add washi tape. You'll see me progressively use it throughout the sketchbook. Can't have a Barbie without Ken. Then Barbie and Ken together. Also this summer was a summer of Zelda for me, Zelda games. I finally bought Tears of the Kingdom. When Tears of the Kingdom came out, I bought Breath of the Wild. I never had it for my Switch, so I actually bought it and I played Breath of the Wild before I bought Tears of the Kingdom. So it was very Zelda and Linkish for me. And I came back and added this. So here is Zelda from Ocarina in Time. Never played that game, wish I could. <laughs> I think I have gotten rid of all of my old Nintendo consoles. And then this was just for fun and I didn't really want to do anything over here. This was just for fun that I made and I finished it up later on. I just thought it was cute and I was experimenting with different styles. Julia from Luca. This was a review on some gel pens. So I did, I tested them all out. You can see me swatching them out here and swatching out here. They were two different types of gel pens and I made these cute little Kaiwi, I think I'm saying it right. <laughs> Kaiwi little like treats. This was also the summer of Mario. So here is Princess Peach with all those awesome, see how, how pretty it is. It's all so shiny. Oof. This is just beautiful. See how it's just, oh, I love the way this is. And you see the little heart right here. Oh, it's so cute. Very, very proud of this. I like the two spread pages. I feel like I'm wasting. I don't know why, but I do like the two page spread where they're connected. If I can do that with the next little sketchbook, I wanna do more of that. Uh, here I'm testing out these tri-colored pencils very similar to like, this is, this is not them, but this is what they were like. I probably remember that. And people were giving me suggestions to color them in with the colored pencils or to use them as a lining tool. Pink Belle in her winter outfit. And then we have Aurora in her pink dress. And then this is a later ad, but I did put Chihiro from Spirited Away right here because she's my favorite pink Studio Ghibli character. Here are uh, a new set of gel pens. I really do like these, they're, they're very, very pretty. And then I started using them for the next couple of pages to kind of try them out. So you see right here, 
I really went overboard <laughs> gel pens in this sketchbook. I don't care. I love sparkles. I love glitter gel pens. And it's my sketchbook and I can do what I want and you guys can do what you want too. All right. And then so here are the tricolored pencils again. I was using them to color in. Really love this one. Love this one. And then the next couple ones I was like, no, I don't like them. Like the this one neon colored one and this one. I love the characters, but I hate the colored pencils like coloring in with them. And you guys, somebody suggested and I did it on this one, use the tricolored pencils for line art as opposed to using them in coloring them in kind of fashion. So here's a neon girl with boba tea. <laughs> this was just over the garden walls trying out some pencils. They're super cute. Not didn't finish it. I mean, they're cute, but I didn't want to finish it. I think I moved on to a different sketchbook. Oh, and then I was drawing this because uh, this is what I feel like anxiety would feel like. <laughs> so this is the emotion of anxiety. I need to do like emotions of like overwhelmed, anxiety, OCD, ADHD. All right, and then we get to another pink Cinderella. And about this point, I decided, you know, after I got pink Cinderella as a Dorables, like mystery Disney box or whatever, I wanted to do more pink characters. So here is pink dress Cinderella, and I really don't like this. I don't like the way I drew her face. And then I did pink dress Ariel. I do love these. These make me happy. Mulan in her pink dress. So I did before and after the matchmaker Fa Mulan. <laughs> and then Charlotte. I love her dress so much. And this is the first time I have drawn her entire dress. Even if this is small, I'm super proud of it because, you know, I love this dress. If I could have any Disney princess, even though she's not like a, technically a Disney princess, I would want her dress. Then this is when I got my Artix acrylic markers that I bought for myself. I just wanted to try them out. You could see the different people. This gave me Beast Boy vibes. Got two pink fairies and I had fun with like the mushrooms and the fun little flowers. A lot of the pink characters that were asked for me to draw, I did draw them all, a lot of them, onto these two pages. Once again, two, two page spread. I love this page so much. And a lot of the characters you guys suggested for me to draw, I have seen so many requests for Kirby or, <laughs> what is her name? Dang it, Pinkie Pie, yeah. And then Blossom and Piglet and Princess Bubblegum. I drew them on this entire page and I was using the Artix acrylic markers again. Love them. So yeah, that's that. And then here's another two page spread. I do love this, but I feel like I was wasting too much space for pages and spreads like this. So I probably won't do it like this. I like the back and like one character here and one character here. So here's Giselle from Enchanted. The first Enchanted. Here is Draculaura. 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 I think I'm saying it right. I don't know. I don't really watch a lot of Monster High, but I love the character designs. I think they're really gorgeous. They're different and fun. This is what I like. I like the two page spreads like this. So we got Angel from Stitch and Poppy from Trolls. This was not my favorite drawing of Poppy. I, I thought I could do better. I needed to do better. <laughs> Yes, of course, little Marie. Oh, we got issues here. Then we got Sylveon and we have the one and only DW. We got mini, mini Sailor Moon and we've got Strawberry Shortcake. And then I did come up with these issues a lot. Like I wanted them to be on the same page. You'll see that at the gems from Steven Universe. So I wanted them to be on the same page and I feel like I could have put a piece of paper on the back of this, but I did, like I said, I just didn't want to. So here is Belle from the anime Belle. Then you got Pink Diamond and Rose Quartz and I really, really like these cool stickers. These are like the Happy Planner stickers and I saw these pink dots. I'm like, I'm not gonna use these on my planners. I'm gonna put this in my sketchbook. <laughs> And we got Star versus the Forces of Evil when she showed up to like that underworld prom dance, whatever. Amy Rose from Sonic. 
Oh, I really do love this. So we've got Glinda, the first Glinda. Not Broadway, but you know, the original Glinda. And I really love how this turned out. I might do a couple more like this. Like I said, I really do like doing two page spreads. I feel like it's a bit of a waste when it's one character, but this kind of dress spread, this just made me happy. We've got the one and only Persephone from Lore Olympus. So I wanted to do her like queen of the underworld and then her cute personality one just this is the one that I love. I think she's awesome and I love drawing her little blue flowers because every time she's around Hades, if you guys read the comment, sometimes these little blue flowers pop up on her head and I think it's adorable. And I love the whole look of Persephone, queen of the underworld. So I wanted to do both and I did the blue to look like the underworld. I totally forgot what this pony's name was, whatever. But <laughs> There's so many and I never really got into My Little Pony. I watched like the first two seasons and that was it. And then we have Bo Peep from Toy Story. Then we have Ichigo from Tokyo Mew Mew, which was one of my favorite mangas growing up. My favorite, favorite ones. It was like the first series my mother ever let me read just because I wasn't allowed to read manga or watch anime at all. So, and then I did this for fun with the pink Animal Crossing characters. Wasn't a huge fan of how it turned out. I didn't like, cause I was, once again, I was using this as like a lining tool. The tricolor pencils did not like how it turned out. Then we have Vanellope Von Schweetz from Wreck-It Ralph in her princess attire. And then Mabel Pines, who is my absolute favorite. Ah, this was my a Valentine's Day poll that I asked for votes on Instagram and TikTok and I gave Astrid and Hiccup and they won by a landslide. Like if you flip back here, this is where I kept it just so I could remember forever who won the Valentine's 2024 tally. So here they are and I love, love this. Somebody actually asked to buy this from my sketchbook and I'm like, I have no idea how that would happen. So there's no way that I could actually rip any of these out without ruining them completely. Cause you see, I draw right into the crease. So if I didn't ruin the entire sketchbook, I would probably sell them, but I'm not going to. So we've got this six musical character, Katherine Howard. Did you know in reality, in history, and I, she doesn't do this in the show, of course. I would love to see Six a musical. Absolutely would love to see it. But did you know in reality, before she got beheaded, she practiced her look on how she would look being beheaded? It's terrible. <laughs> she, I can't believe it. I would never do that. It's insane. And then we've got Regina George because this whole year was like a Mean Girls revival. Like we were back, we were brought back to the Mean Girls vibe. This is Renee. And then we have Patrick and he's so cute. You gotta kind of finish it like this, but you see how simple he is? That's why I put all the simple characters. Oop, didn't mean to do that. I put all the simple characters on one page, but yes, that is it. That is my entire little pink sketchbook. Um, Oh, here's some appreciation for the stickers that were gathered through it. I would just gathered stickers as I went. <laughs> this is actually Jan from the office. I covered her up once I got this from one of the kids that was in Tuck Everlasting. But if you look at it, it says, don't feed a toad, stay off silos, don't go fishing without water, don't forget to close the music boxes and never trust a stranger in yellow. Evil banana approved. But you see like it says tree gap. If you guys know Tuck Everlasting, I j it's a cute little thing. And then I got How Racing, which is my cousin's and my aunt and uncle's business. And then Clutch, which is my favorite coffee place. And then these little guys were Valentine cards that I gave to my students. And here's like a full one. I think it's cute. And I don't know where I got this. My mom gave it to me, but I don't, I don't really know what it is. But yes, that is it. That is the whole tiny pink sketchbook tour. Now, if you guys could help me and vote which one should I do next? So this would be gold characters and yellow characters because I just like that it's gold and it could be yellow too. And this would be purple characters, of course. So you can leave in the comments down below which one should I do next? Thank you guys for watching. I'll list all my supplies that I 
showed you guys throughout the video in the description box down below. Thanks for watching. Bye!